Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to graph the following seven linear equations. And this is the situation we have. We have our x and y coordinate system, the y-axis, the x-axis. And these are the equations that we're going to graph. You will notice that each of the seven equations that we're going to graph are already in the form y equals mx plus b, which is also known as the slope intercept form. You can see this is the first one we're going to do. Y equals mx plus b. Y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. All right, they're all in the slope intercept form. And you need to know that this b, b in the slope intercept form is the y intercept. That is the place where the line is going to cross the y axis. m, m is the slope. The slope is also known as the rise over the run. Okay, these are two important things that you need to be able to identify in these equations in order to graph these linear equations. Now, I always tell my students, especially when we're just getting started, please write down the y-intercept. Write down the slope so you have them and you can go step by step for plotting the points to get the two points you need to graph these linear equations. You will notice in this first equation we're going to do, B, the y-intercept, is plus 1. M, the slope, is 3 over 4, 3 fourths. These are the two things you need to get the two points you need in order to graph these linear equations. Start with the y-intercept. We know this is the y-intercept. We know the line is going to cross the y-axis at plus 1. So simply take the y-intercept and put a point right there. That is the first point. You need two points to graph a line. Now we're going to use the slope to get to the next point. This is 3 over 4 plus 3 over plus 4, rise over run. The rise is 3, the run is 4. Because it's plus, we're going to rise up 1, 2, 3. Because the run is positive, we're going to run to the right 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to put our second point right there. And then we can put our ruler on our paper and draw our line just like that. Okay, let's review. Use the y-intercept. Put a point there. Use the slope. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 to get the second point. You need two points to graph a line. The y-intercept the y intercept, and the slope will allow you to get those two points. All right, let's go on and do the next one. The first one we did is the line equals y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. The second one we're going to do is y equals 5 thirds x minus 4. Write down the y-intercept. Write down the slope. You will notice the y-intercept is minus 4. You must take the minus sign with you, so to speak. Minus 4. Put a point at minus 4. Now the slope will take you to the second point you need. Rise over run. Rise 5, run 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, second point, draw the line. That is the line, y equals 5 thirds x minus 4. Now we can do the next one. This one you'll notice the, is the equation y equals minus 4 sevenths x plus 3. That means the y-intercept is plus 3. That means the slope is minus 4 sevenths. What does it mean when it has a minus slope? Well, these have a positive slope, and they slope up. This has a negative slope, so it's going to slope down. What you need to do, what I tell my students to do, take this minus sign, put it up here on the 4. So now the slope is equals minus 4 over 7. The rise is minus 4. The run is 7. Start with the y-intercept again. Put a point at plus 3 right there. Now we're going to rise, but we're not going to actually rise because it's negative. We're going to the rise, we're going to rise down. 1, 2, 3, 4. The run is positive. We go to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Point there, line like that. 
That is the line y equals minus 4 sevenths x plus 3. It has a negative slope and therefore it slopes down. The next one, you should be seeing the pattern we're following. Here, we're going to write down the y-intercept minus 5. We're going to write down the slope minus 3 eighths. Once again, I'm going to take the minus sign and move it up here to the 3, so I'm just rewriting the slope. It's the same slope. The slope is not changing. Minus 3 over 8. Now with this one, we're going to put, again, a point at minus 5. That, I believe, is right here, minus 5. Now there's two ways we can do this. I'm going to show you both ways. The way we've been doing this, this is a negative rise. The negative rise means move down. One two, three. This is a positive run. We're going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places over, and we're going to put our other point right there. Now, we could also have moved the negative sign down to the eight. That means we would have positive three and negative eight, which means we would move up one, two, three, and over to the left because the run would be negative. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the point would be there, and you'll notice that all three of those points fall on the same line. That is the line. Y equals minus three eighths X minus five. Okay, we did the first four. We're gonna move now to the next three. The next one, you'll notice this one is Y equals minus three X minus four. Yes, the y-intercept is minus 4. Now, you'll notice the slope in this case is not a fraction, but because I want the rise over the run, I'm going to make the slope into a fraction. I'm going to write it as a fraction. That means I'm going to write y, excuse me, the slope is equal to minus 3 over 1. I just take this value and put it over 1. Minus 3 over 1 is the same thing as minus 3, but now I have rise and run. Now, I'm going to start once again. I'm going to put a point at minus 4. Then I'm going to use my slope and I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And I'm going to put a point here. I could also, as I did previously, go up 3 and to the left 1 and put a point there. You'll notice all three of those points fall on the same line. That is the line y equals minus 3x minus 4. Okay, two more to go. The next one is y equals 2x plus 3. The intercept is 3. The slope is 2, which I wrote again as a fraction rise over run 2 over 1. I'm going to put my first point at 3. I'm going to rise up 2. I'm going to run over 1. And there you go. That is the line y equals 2x plus 3. All right, last one. The last one is y equals x plus 1. The y-intercept is b. There is a number in front of this x. By convention, we don't write it. There's a 1 here. That means the slope is 1, which means I'm going to write it as a fraction 1 over 1. I am going to put my first point at plus 1. I'm going to rise up 1 and over 1, and therefore we have our second point. We can draw the line. That is the line y equals x plus 1. Okay? We did all seven of those. I tried to cover the most common cases, positive slopes, negative slopes, positive intercepts, negative intercepts, slopes that are fractions, slopes that are not fractions, slopes that are one, okay? It's the same process. Write down the intercept, write down the slope, plot the first point from the intercept, get to the next point using the slope, draw the line, okay? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can do one or all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a comment. What do you think? Was that helpful? Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.